Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, we're going to get some are you serious coffee going. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we got some breaking news here, some information. Uh, we've had this confirmed now. Uh, we got this yesterday, but we waited uh, till just now to decide to uh, report on it. But there has been, we have our in our hands official orders of manpower guidance for activation and deactivation of reserve component of Marines have been ordered to active duty ISO defense support of civil authorities. Now, what I'm saying is, and I've had Brock read through this entire orders. He's seen orders many, many times. And also, uh, Agent uh, RC also reviewed these orders as well as we've uh, contacted two or three other potential sources to confirm these are definitely, these are official orders that have been released, signed off by uh, the, the President of the United States, issued out of Washington, D.C. Now, now the deal here is, is why? Well, first of all, Brock uh, went through it and he said, there's nowhere in here for hazard pay. He said if this was a deployment to a war zone where there was an actual uh, combat or an actual enemy out there, putting people in harm's way, there would, be, uh, there would be a document here that would be signed off on to make sure that all of these uh, soldiers, uh, these Marines, were, would get uh, hazard pay. That's not on here, okay? So this means they're not leaving the country. They're going to remain in U.S. territory. Now, that could be a lot of places, okay? That could be in, let's say, Hawaii uh, for fear of a missile attack from Kim Jong-un or in Guam for the same reason. Uh, or something to do with the Chinese, okay? Uh, it could be uh, in Bahamas, where there's been, of course, the chaos is, uh, and that's not U.S. territory, but uh, still not considered a war zone. They'd be going in there on humanitarian efforts. Uh, it could be uh, the border, the southern border, okay? Uh, although I don't see any reason at this moment for that to be a deployment. It could be, though, Washington, D.C., uh, with the talk of all this impeachment, and the fact that they are trying to rush to judgment a potential impeachment of the president of the United States and the House of Representatives, it's possible that the president uh, may have already may have signed an order on Thursday, October third, in the height of this uh, chaos. Uh, he may have already said, "Let's get some Marines on the ground. Let's get them in position here in the Washington D.C. area uh, for protection of not only the president but the." protection of the House of Representatives and even the Senate uh, and, and what have you, in case there is a rush to judgment to impeach the president, the general public may rise up in the streets of Washington and try to charge the House of Representatives that would do the impeachment process. And so um, the president may be already, again, I'm speculating because I don't know where these Marines are being deployed to, but they're definitely being deployed. They are definitely going to probably, with no doubt, they're not going to a war zone. There's no hazard pay here. So they're staying. It tells you right out of the blocks, this is for manpower guidance for activation and deactivation of reserve component of Marines ordered to active duty, ISO defense support of civil authorities. So this has to do with domestic authorities needing assistance and uh, potentially for civil unrest and crowd and crowds and, and security and that whole thing that could take place if the uh, federal government felt it was being threatened by a uh, civilians who uh, were were fed up with the federal government for some reason and and so again I don't know if that's what it is none of the uh, nobody it doesn't say Okay, we've read the complete report. We've run this by uh, several people that would know. Brock, of course, who's read many orders. Uh, and, of course, Agent RC, who's read many, many orders. And others, and, and two to three other sources we've tapped. That would. This is obviously for officers to read. This is an off, the orders to an officer on what to do to prepare for this uh, deployment for all of their uh, units. And uh, so... What does this mean? And, and the, I, the reason I bring this up is it's dated October 3rd. Now, there's contingent plans in place in this country for any and every type of scenario. Cascadia subduction zone, massive earthquake, Yellowstone explosion, New Madrid fault line earthquake, San Andrea fault line earthquake, tsunami in New York City. You know, I mean, 
there's all kinds of contingency plans on how to deal. And that's why you have a lot of FEMA camps and, and concentration camps and those kinds of things. And internment camps uh, is, is how to handle mass, mass destruction or mass chaos from a natural disaster of biblical proportion. But also, how do you handle uh, a civil unrest or a, or a situation uh, where the government starts to fall apart uh, due to the uh, civilian unrest? So everything has to be put into plan. I'm just saying... We don't know why, okay? But October 3rd, in the middle of this uh, impeachment discussion that people are very upset about, I mean, people are very upset about the fact that the President of the United States could be impeached by the House of Representatives. This isn't going over well. Now, that doesn't mean he's out of office. Even if he gets impeached by the House of Representatives, it still has to go to a trial in the Senate. But, But I'm just saying, just this alone brings a lot of high anxiety and this, I feel this is probably has to do with maintaining control of Washington, okay, if something goes down. Um, there's some other reasons, I'm not even going to bring up them, uh, of indictments and things we've heard about. I'm not even going to touch that. So there's a lot going on, okay? Just want to let you know, we're living in the end times. Give your life to Jesus Christ, and here's what, here, folks, seriously, okay, pray for this country. you got to understand, you got to pray for this country, Um Everybody's on edge. Jesus is coming soon.